Hello everyone, Dr. Ziyad Tahir here. This video tutorial is solution to problem 1.25 from Mechanical Vibration SS Rao 6th edition. And the problem is same in 5th edition of Mechanical Vibration. So, problem 1.25 is at page 125 in 6th edition and at page 96 in 5th edition. So, this is about finding equivalent spring stiffness of stepped bar. So figure 1.8 shows a three stepped bar fixed at one end at this end is fixed and subjected to an axial force F at the other end. The length of step I is Li and its cross sectional area is Ai. So mean that for first step area is A1, length is L1, second it is A2 and L2 for the third one, area is A3 and length is L3. All steps are made of the same material, so it means that E1, E2 and E3 that is equal to E. So for the part one, find the spring constant or stiffness Ki of step I in axial direction. So need to find stiffness in axial direction. For part A, so best option available is using stress strain relationship. So E is Young's modulus, which is equal to stress over strain or stress is equal to strain into E. Now stress in this case, because uh, the force is F and under this force, each step is going to elongate. So then F is equal uh, for from here stress is equal to force over area of cross section and then strain is delta. Delta is the elongation in each step over L which is the original length into E and this expression can be further modified using Hooke's law. Using Hooke's law F is equal to K into elongation. It is uh, basically f is equal to kx but in this case we are going uh, because under that force the bars are going to elongate so that's why we are going delta is elongation it can be rearranged as k is equal to f over delta so now the expression from stress strain it can be rearranged that f over delta as a e over l so now F over delta is K, which is equal to AE over L. And then it can further now KI as a generic form is equal to AI area of cross section E over LI. So that is the first part. That is the first part find spring constant KI of step I in axial direction. Now for part B, find equivalent spring constant of stepped bar K equivalent in axial direction so that F is equal to K equivalent into X and most suitable topic for is in spring element and then combination of springs. Okay, so for to solve this one, we need to first see that if that stepped bar are connected in series or they are connected in parallel. Now the fact here is each step experience or each step bar experience the same force F because that force F is same in all steps. But elongation, they, but they have different elongation like each will have different elongation and then so steps act in series. So when the springs connect in series, so equation 1.7 can be used to find their equivalent spring stiffness. K1 for first step is A1 E over L1, K2 is A2 E over L2 and K3 A3 E over L3. So these values can be substituted into the equation. 1 over k equivalent is equal to 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2 plus 1 over k3. So after substituting k1, k2 in k3 in the equation 1 over k equivalent is equal to 1 over a1 e over l1 plus 1 over a2 e over l2 plus 1 over a3 e over l3. So it can further be simplified. 
as l1 over a1 e plus l2 over a2 e plus l3 over a3 and e can be taken as common factor so leaving l1 over a1 plus l2 over a2 plus l3 over a3 so now uh, it is possible to make the denominator same and further simplify so it can be further simplified by uh, making denominator same so that is the expression which we'll get and finally to get k equivalent just take reciprocal of both sides so now by taking reciprocal k equivalent that will become a1 a2 a3 into e divided by l1 l2 into a3 plus l2 into a1 into a3 plus l3 into a1 into a2 so that is equivalent spring stiffness of step bar now for part c indicate whether the step behave as series in parallel so its answer i have already given here because without this assumption b part is not possible to solve so anyway part c is since all steps share the same force f but experience different elongation the steps behave as spring in series so that is a fact if you don't know that if some components are in parallel or series so then the same concept you will use so that is the solution of this problem thank you very much for watching